So this is the farthest part of the farm that is touching the fence. And here I intercropped maize and beans. So you will notice the beans are already flowering and already forming. So this is the yellow bean variety that I put here. And the maize is also looking very healthy. It's white maize. And right after the maize, I planted some pumpkin. Just a few seeds. So it doesn't take over the entire farm. And look how it's going. Yeah, this is a sign that the flowers are coming soon and they'll be forming the pumpkins. Right after the pumpkin, we have cow peas. So this is the cow peas. We use it both as a vegetable and a cereal. So we already got our first harvest of cow peas. If you look here, you will notice. So this is how we harvest them. And this really allows wild growth after the first harvest. So that's the cow peas. If you followed the chart after the cow peas, we had... Uh, what we call the near here or called coriander in English so this is the coriander bit and they're also very ready for harvesting and I need some for my lunch today so I just uproot have uh, muto. Muto is the, what did you call it last time? What is it? Slender leaf. The slender leaf bitter herb that we also use as a vegetable here. So that's what we have next. On this side, I planted groundnuts in the bigger portion. Actually, the biggest portion of the farm has groundnuts. That's what you see. And some seed fell where I have planted the bulb onions. So that's what we have here. I just hope this won't interfere with their growth. The next is spinach. So we are also already harvesting the spinach. They look so healthy. So this is the spinach. Looking very, very healthy. And here on the trellis, we have cucumber. There are lots of lots, lots and lots of flowers and the cucumbers are already forming. As you can see, Look, here is another one. And lots of flowers. Look at all those flowers. So from those flowers, I will be getting cucumbers. All that. Yes, looks like we're going to have lots of cucumbers. And then right here, I have this type of tomatoes. They are very tiny in size and used mostly in salads. I've just forgotten the name. And on this other bit, we have okra. Okra is already forming also. You can see this. This is the okra forming. And we have lots and lots of them here. Oops. 
we have lots and lots of them here looking really nice there you go next to the okra we have this vegetable please let me know what you call it i'm not sure what you call it but in kiswahili we call it saga so this is saga it's also a herb and bitter but we love it that way so this one didn't really do well because i think i threw in so many seeds which hindered the growth but i uprooted some so i hope the batch that is coming up next is gonna be healthy next to daga are the tomatoes so these ones i call the survivors already they are forming these flowers which are going to be the tomatoes but i've had a problem with the tomatoes you see this i don't know why they grow and after some times they wilt if you know the reason why they are wilting please let me know look at this one it was already very healthy but the leaves are starting to fall i don't know if it means i have a lot of uh, manure in the shamba or okay i'm really not sure why they are doing this please let me know if you have an idea and next to the tomatoes this is the skuma wiki or kale in english so kale is very very common here we eat it almost every day yeah we've had harvest also from here as you can see we are already eating our vegetables and it's just been a month eh? we are harvesting so next to the kale is paper so here i have paper which is also already fruiting there you can see and then over here i have the green onions which i love so much and uh, these are from last season they withered in the dry season but now they are back and very very healthy and lastly i have the chinese cabbage so i added some seed if you watched during the, the time I was planting, I actually didn't do a nursery. I, I planted it directly to the soil on the farm. So this is how the Chinese cabbage is doing. I have just a few left. How many? Oh, they, I, just, I have just four of them here remaining. So, but they look pretty okay. So these are some of the pollinators here. This is a grasshopper. And did I show you this? I don't know what you call this vegetable, but it's the one we use in making mokimo. Mokimo, mokimo. If you know mokimo, this is what we use to make mokimo. A very, very delicious vegetable. And you can also add it to your... To the cowpea leaves and make a very delicious vegetable so i bet that's everything i have in my vegetable garden i hope you enjoyed the tour and my advice is that you plant things that you use most thanks for watching and see you in the next video.